So first thing I would do uh, is if you have, particularly if you have carpet and really if you have pets, is lay down a blanket of some sort. Of course it doesn't help if the dog is rubbing himself on the blanket, but this will help the pet hair that may be on your floor or your carpet from sticking to the back of the coat, which actually can be quite significant. More so with my, my other brand than with this Canada Goose one. Okay, So first you have to evacuate or evict the dog from the carpet. Move it. That one, go on. Go on. Go on. Move. 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 And then you're good to start. So I would lay down the coat on the blanket or a mat or whatever you put it on. And a really important first step is to remove the metal wire that keeps the hood in its form. So uh, there's a little pocket on the side of this. this is a, a Resolute jacket and so you have to remove this in order to fold it up. And I also like to remove the uh, coyote, uh, the, the fur ruff from the jacket just so it doesn't get squashed into the bag that I'm going to put it in. Uh, you don't absolutely have to do this, but I think it's a, a nice little precaution. So take those off and set them aside, and the dog will be sniffing it in a minute. Okay, and so what I would do, make sure that the top is open, fold the arms of the jacket in, bring the butt of it together, and then slowly, quickly, however you want to do it, roll it as tightly as you can, and pack it into its own hood. So this is the way I used to send my coat in my duffel bag up to the north when I would do winter field work. Um, but this time, just because I want to have a little bit more room and I have an extra one, I'm going to pack it into a dry bag, into a stuff sack uh, after that in order to take up even less space. But this doesn't take up that much room and you could actually uh, get away with doing it just like this if you have, say, a larger duffel bag. But since I'm going to be taking a backpack alone, I'm going to get it even smaller than that. So now I'm going to grab my dry bag or my uh, compression sack. This one's actually not a true dry bag. Uh, this is a medium sized Sea to Summit. Uh, I've used this for quite a number of years and I really, uh, really think this is a good product. And now it's as simple as taking your folded up coat and more or less carefully getting it into the stuff sack. It'll take a little bit of work. Uh, it's a nice warm day like it is today. You're going to be sweating the whole time, um, trying to stuff it in, but eventually you can get it into the, into the bag. So once you've got it into the bottom of your stuff sack, into your compression sack, just want to make sure that it's well seated in the bottom and then however the, the mechanism for closing up your model, your brand of bag works, just make sure that all the material is out of the, uh, the seal and then um, seal it up. And on these Sea to Summit bags, you just take the lid, pull it over the top of the bag and then inch up the four straps equally as you go around the bag, just making sure that all of the lips are underneath of the cap. And there you have it, large can of goose jacket stuffed into a, a fairly small package. Don't forget to take the coyote rough and that piece of metal wire in order to put the hood back together, but that takes up quite a bit less room than would the jacket on its own. You can stuff it in the bottom of your backpack along with everything else that you are taking up north with you.